done we back also guys i did my brows way darker than i normally do i'm kind of living for it because i feel like now that my hair has like i have a lot of my like my, my hair's like growing out in like the roots and I really like the roots look but I feel like having darker brows really kind of like it's taking a while for me to get used to it because I feel like it's just like all I'm doing is staring at my brows all I can't tell if they look bad or if it's just because I'm not used to it but maybe I'll do slightly lighter next time I don't know but kind of into it I feel like it really just makes my eyes pop a lot more and also just like it kind of makes it look more natural even though me being a blonde is not natural whatsoever so kind of into it but today's an exciting day I leave for Tokyo tomorrow so I have a lot of packing to do I have some filming I would love to get done as well and yeah it's already like noonish. Hello? Hi, so nice to finally kind of meet you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, love it. Do you know what kind of day it is? It's a Celsius kind of day. Kiwi, is kiwi, gua kiwi guava good? Okay guys, we're going for the kiwi guava carbonated Celsius. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I like the kiwi guava. I love guava. Oh my gosh, this just reminds me of Hawaii and now I'm literally picturing myself by the pool in Hawaii drinking a guava smoothie. Love this. These have kind of become an essential when it comes to filming days. About to film, I just wrote out a huge outline for it all. Basically, I'm just doing like, it's like a fitness tips video for like when you're traveling on how to like still stay on track because I travel so much and I feel like over the months I've really like learned so much about it and I feel like it can help a lot of people because these are tips that like one, you never hear people talk about or two, that like actually help. So really excited for that. We're gonna film all the talking bits today And then I think while we travel tomorrow, that'll be perfect to actually get the b-roll and all that kind of stuff Also, I keep staring at my brows guys. I kind of like them. I feel like I look more like a realistic blonde this way I don't know. Anyways. Oh my god. Also guys I ordered this book and I'm really excited because if you guys know especially if you listen to the pretty basic podcast You know, I love mark manson's the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Um, hopefully I don't get demonetized for saying that in this <laughs> This is his new book. I don't know how new it is actually, but it's basically um the sequel and it's a book about hope and i'm pretty sure oh i think a lot of it is about the fact of like what it was like afterwards for him of like having this like your dream and like your entire life of being like a number one new york times bestseller and all that stuff and like what life was like after that and after he reached his like main goal and what that was like so i'm actually really excited to read this i bought this for my flight tomorrow so i have that i still need to pack but we're gonna do some filming like i said I just hit my face. TK, you ready? Like, where'd you go? <laughs> we should film, we could do one down here. Speaking of packing, I think, guys, don't judge me. I think I'm gonna bring two suitcases because I'm actually gonna be in Tokyo for quite a while. So I think I'm gonna bring a medium sized one. And then I think I'm gonna bring, ooh. It just makes sense, especially because Benefit is actually flying us business class, which is freaking amazing. And you get two free um, luggage and, and you get, wow, I can't talk for anything in my life. And you get to bring two luggages, Back, bags, two bags. I suck. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you get to bring two bags for free. So here we go. Wow. Why was I struggling with my whole life? She's on one, guys. Look at what she's wearing. Okay, first of all, it's freezing, so I stole one of the merch samples. <laughs> and honestly, it's great because when I film, I can just be like, boom, but then it's cold so that I can bring them back up. Anyways, then I just wanted to show TK my shoes that I like, so. Hey, they're cute. Are they cute? And they're not that tall because you know I don't like being that tall. I don't get why you don't like being, I think tall is hot. Cute. Tall girl means a tall guy. Ugh. my umbro shoes but everyone on my instagram poll voted the elias may i can see how this is more trendy the, yeah but i can see how these look like yeah Hi. Hi. so i want to do more like i get why you do polls they're so fun yeah this is what it's like being alicia marie what you doing what you doing oh just you know you know we swap spots. Trying to get that angle, baby. Angle. <laughs> angle, baby. Angle. I always decide, like, do I want it to be a wide look today or a close look? I kind of always go through different phases. BTS for you guys. Flip it up. What's nice about this? Whoa, that lighting, oh, though. Wait, 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 girl. I got you. <laughs> oh. I'm suddenly a model. But what's nice is that I'm blonde and I'm almost her height. And almost my skin color, too. Yeah, well, I have a spray tan right now. But, like, basically almost everything's the same. So when it's, we yeah. line it up or test it, I hardly have to adjust anything. It's just, yeah, it's nice. 
like I think back to the times that I literally did everything myself and I'm like how did I do that I don't know the amount of footage that like never was recorded or like the mic was broken or like also we always put the screen <laughs> wait, wait, wait. literally guys i feel like people have no i don't know i know i've never seen one comment about it every main channel video i move this tree literally in the most inconvenient spot of life it's literally all the way over there she moves it <laughs> right in front of my freaking nightstand like who would Which ever have it make sense it doesn't make sense but it looks great on camera one video i had it and it was on this side <laughs> and it's just funny because i'm like does anyone notice it okay oh Oh, perfect. Do you like it? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, I just want to move this guy over. Actually, we need to move him over. We should name him. I know. Comment down below what we should name him. Okay. I feel like my hair would be a little cuter, but at the same time, I'm too lazy to fix it. Okay, guys. So the packing has officially begun. I kind of just threw those in there, so I still need to actually go through them, but we have started. Got both suitcases up here. Excited. Also, I was about to start packing my carry-on, and I thought I would show you guys kind of like what's in my travel bag slash carry-on for you because I don't think I've ever really done that, or if I have, it was like years ago. So let's do it. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Eh, yes, okay. I'm literally sitting on everything, so this is perfect. I hope this angle and lighting is okay. The sun's kind of setting, so hopefully we can do this quick. But, so the bag that I've been using for, I wanna say over a year now, was definitely a bit of an investment for a carry-on bag, but I'm not even kidding you guys. This still looks brand new, and I am so brutal when it comes to luggage and traveling and stuff. This is a backpack from Toomey. I've always heard of this brand. It's that luggage store in the mall that you're always like, wait, what is it? Apparently it's really nice and I had no idea. It's literally like one of the number one like luggage companies because they have just such good quality luggage. That's where I got my last suitcase from too and it's just it's such good quality and that's why it's expensive This is the best backpack in the freaking world. It's super durable It has so many different pockets, which I love it has like the front pocket the big one right here A whole bunch of pockets inside and then it even has a laptop one in the back and what I love other backpacks have this Like not just this brand, but I love having a whole separate slot for my laptop It's hard when you have the slit in the back of like the main part because you're trying to get stuff in and I swear when you're like rushing through security they're like yelling at you to go through but you can't fit it in there when you have it like super packed This makes it so easy because you just lay it this way upside down and then every single time without a problem You just easily slip your um, laptop in there. I have to use a pre-check So a lot of times I don't have to like take out my laptop But there are still some times like certain airports don't have that um, There are some certain airports where like that doesn't count or like for whatever reason I need to do that and that saves my life every single time I actually don't have my laptop with me so <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, one thing that I always carry with me is always a notebook. There's something about writing stuff down versus typing it, and I don't know what it is about airplanes, but I am my most productive person of all time. Love just brainstorming and planning and like journaling or whatever on flight. So I always make sure to have some sort of notebook with me. This is just a moleskin one. It's a light blue color. I thought it was super cute. So this is great because I can multitask and pack at the same time that we're doing this. I'm gonna put this in this like little back slot right there so it just kind of can fit there. Um, then the next thing I got I showed you guys earlier is the book that I'm reading I'm very excited to start this one and I think it's actually gonna be really really good so I usually like to carry at least one book with me I'm also again this compared to a Kindle or like anything like that I like having the actual book which just makes it hard to not carry like five books with you versus like a ebook or something I do just like having a physical book so I usually try to bring it to one because I usually don't read that much when I'm on vacation but definitely like having it headphones these are Bose headphones. They're my favorite. I fucking love them. The soundproof, like they are, I sound like I'm in a fishbowl. They're just so freaking good. I also do bring my AirPods, so that is something else that I bring, but AirPods can hurt my ears after a long time. But I like having my AirPods when I'm just going through the airport, because it's easier just to like put one in and you can still listen to music, where this like you can't hear if a truck is like beeping behind you and it's like yelling at you to get out of the way. Um, so I like these on the plane. It also helps to like drown out any noise. But then I also like having my AirPods, so I usually bring both. Dang, I should've got my laptop, but it's fine. I'll grab one I go downstairs. Portable charger. I can't tell you how many times I freaked out thinking my phone was actually gonna die and I wouldn't be able to talk to anyone. I wouldn't be able to like get an Uber if I, or a car if I needed to. I like all the worst case scenarios. So I always make sure to carry a portable charger with me. I got this one from Amazon. It holds like four or five charges for a full iPhone, which is amazing. Tell me why I started doing this and I think it's the most genius thing ever. I had an iPhone cord that I hadn't even opened yet and I was just running out the door and I left it in the plastic that it came in. I've had it this way for a while and it's so easy to just like plug in 
your phone and not have the cord crazy and like all over the place. So I low key recommend like taping your cord or leaving it like this if you have an extra one, just because it makes it so much easier and like more compact. Always carry that too. What else? I'm sitting on the wrist water bottle. So if you're going on a flight, obviously TSA does not let you bring in water, but you can bring in a reusable water bottle and then that way you can just fill it up at stations in the airport or whatever. If I don't do this, I will not drink water and it's just so much easier to have it with me and not have the excuse of like, oh, well, I'm too lazy to buy one or something because drinking water when you travel is so crucial. So I always make sure to bring um, just a reusable water bottle. Next we have, you also cannot forget a neck pillow. Um, Actually, now that I think about it though, I don't know if I need this because we're actually going to be on um, business class and they should have a pillow there. So, I don't think I need this, but let me tell you, this was the best investment. I, I've had cheaper neck pillows. This thing, I can sleep anywhere. Like, it's memory foam. It's so nice. It even, like, comes with a little thing. So, you can just fold it up, and it literally fits super small, so it's not taking up so much room. Ones that don't clip, like, don't work for me. Like, I have to, I don't know. But this, like, this came in a clutch when we flew to Greece because it was a, I think it was a straight, it was 24 hours of traveling, including a ferry. It was two flights and a ferry. This thing, like, saved my life. I'm not even kidding but now that I think about it I don't think I need it so I'm not gonna bring it because it does take up a lot of space a lot of times I will just hook it here to the top of my backpack the only thing is it grosses me out going through security and this not being covered so I like having the cover that it comes with or I'll try to like throw it in my backpack just for that time and then I'll take it out I don't know it just feels gross like going on the belt so I should have come up. Oh my god, I should have, I'm so sorry. I was like so low the whole time. <laughs> you guys have watched my How to Look Hot When You Travel video on my main channel. I actually mentioned this, and this is game changing when it comes to traveling. You're allowed two bags, so I always have my backpack with all of my tech stuff. This will also hold my vlog camera. Obviously, I'm filming on it. I always have like a little crossbody in front of me. So that way, when I'm like walking around, I have my backpack on, which is nice, but all of my like actual important things are right here in front of me. And that way, a few things. One, you don't have to worry about anyone stealing it out of your backpack because that's a thing. Two, it's so nice when you're like trying to buy snacks or whatever all you have to do instead of taking off your whole backpack is you can just open this up whip out your ID, your credit card, your passport, and it's all just like safe in front of you. Saves my life so much, so love that. Also in my purse, I kind of keep more of like essentials that I may want a little more often, like gum, kind of like just normal things that would be in a purse, like tied to go, perfume, lip gloss, lip balm. I'll always also put my phone in there, sunglasses. Oh my God, also everyone has been wondering, we, wondering <laughs> why can't I talk? Everyone has been asking me where these sunglasses are from. They're from Key, they're actually from the Jaclyn Hill collection and they're called Very Busy. And I love them, absolutely love them. Boom. A lot of stuff is also in here. Oh, Advil, which I'm out of, so we should get more of that because yeah, definitely have that. I think that's honestly the only other thing I normally would have in here is my camera, like not my vlog camera, but my big camera or my 90D or like DSLR, but um, TK, I actually gave that to TK because she's gonna bring that tomorrow. So I don't have that. And yeah, other than my hard drive and my laptop. Oh, also in my right pocket over here, I am stuffed on freaking tampons. Because let me tell you, unfortunately, from personal experience, there is nothing worse than starting your period and not having a tampon when you're on a flight. Not only that, you still have like four hours left of your flight. We'll never let that situation happen again. So whether it's for me or someone else, I have tampons. Oh no, we have a broken memory card. <sighs> No idea what was on there. Hopefully I didn't eat it. I also have pens in my travel bag because, especially traveling internationally, you always have to fill out customs and stuff and you never know when you need a pen. Also, there's been times I was by myself and I had to ask a stranger for a pen and being an introvert, it kind of made me a little um, nervous to ever not have a pen again because I had to ask a stranger and apparently that's horrible to do, which it really wasn't, but I kind of freaked out. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, splits. I definitely need to go get some splits and my snacks. Um, my glasses. Wow, this actually helps me pack. This is actually helping me pack because I'm realizing stuff that I'm forgetting. Glasses, because when you're blind, you can't see where your gate's at. I'm gonna bring these, but I'm probably gonna wear these tomorrow, so I'm not gonna pack them. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have in my travel bag, minus um, one or two few things, but um, I'll have the link for this in the description box if you want it, 
or anything else that I've mentioned in this video. Anyways, hope you liked that. Okay, cool. Now I just need to actually pack, pack. Uh, I don't want to pack. Someone please pack for me. Okay, guys, so it is much later. The packing is almost 100% done. Also, I grabbed a few more things that I really wanted to put in my carry-on. I have stevia, obviously. Liquid stevia is my favorite for black coffee, especially for traveling. A few snacks. We have some splits, my favorite. I Honestly, lately I've been obsessed with the blueberry. Raspberry is also a really, really good one. Computer, charger. If you remember my Sephora haul, I got these from Sephora, the Four Sigmatic. And I was like, honestly, this could be really good because sometimes the coffee on an airplane sucks because then that way I can just ask for hot water and I have my own little whatever things, memory cards. Also, look what I'm bringing to New York. Wow, did I really just say New York? I'm bringing the camera to Tokyo. I feel like it's a vibe. Also, I'm so excited to get like some dope footage. So I have a other tape for that, the charger. I have some disposable cameras. We are Gucci. So I was carrying literally, I did that thing where I tried to do everything in one trip. So I carried so many things. That's why my little chest is like scratched because I was carrying like everything that you just saw in one go up the stairs. That's why that's like that. Okay, we have my makeup. I ended up bringing, I have so many clothes. Like, the amount of shoes I'm bringing is actual insanity. It's fine. It's just, it's insane. The only thing I still need to pack are, I believe, underwear and socks. But I think we're good after that. Oh my, God, my hair is insane because I took it out of the pony. Okay, I literally just took off my makeup. Make, I can't talk, I'm so tired. I just took off my makeup and got ready for bed, so that's why my face is all red. I think I'm pretty much packed. I have some like very minor things to get. Oh, oh my God, my face, yo. I have a few things to like still get in the morning, but overall, I think I pretty much have everything, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I'm so excited to take you to Tokyo with me, and um, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Ooh.